Hi everyone, welcome to another crochet tutorial with me Laura and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make this cute little watermelon slice. So in my last video I showed you how to make my little pineapple, my little bead stitch pineapple. So if you want to go check out that video I'll put the link in the description below. In this video we're going to be making the little watermelon slice to go with it. So for this we're going to need some red yarn and some green yarn and some white yarn as well. Now I've used a kind of mixture of weights between a DK and a thinner yarn so as a light worsted weight um, so you can use any yarn scraps that you like really you don't have to use the exact same weights as long as they're all a bit similar it doesn't matter too much so, so the like red yarn is I think is it's slightly smaller than DK yarn I think it's a four play yarn um, it could be a DK yarn. I know the green is a four play yarn and I think this is a DK yarn. So they're all kind of like very similar, but they're not exactly the same. So just have fun with your scraps. And also you're going to need a little bit of black yarn as well. So a little bit of black yarn here. You're going to need some toy stuffing. And with that, I'm using a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook, but you can use any hook size that you like that's suitable for the yarn you're using. This is actually smaller than uh, suitable for the yarn I'm using. So, you know, just use what you've got and also you're going to need a pair of scissors and a yarn tapestry needle as well okay so let's begin okay so we're going to start off with the red which never seems to show up on camera very well so hopefully you can see and i never didn't even write this pattern down so i'm doing this from memory <laughs> the first thing to do is we're going to create a little slip knot okay. and then what we're going to do is we're going to chain four one two, three, and four, chain four. We're going to slip stitch into our first chain to form a full chain loop. So we're going to put a hook into that first chain, bring the yarn through, bring it straight through the loop on your hook, and that creates a little loop of your four chains joined at the beginning and the end, and in the middle is a hole, obviously. Don't confuse it with your first chain hole that can look quite big find that centre hole and in there we're going to work eight single crochet so this pattern's in US terminology so in UK terminology that's a double crochet so we're going to put our hook into the centre not our first chain into the centre then just wrapping it around the chains we're going to do a single crochet okay we want eight of those so that's one two Three, four, five, six, seven, and one more. Eight, so we've got eight single crochet in there. I'm just going to pull the tail ends to bring in that hole. It does come in a little bit, even though it's not a magic loop. Two, four, six, eight. Find that first single crochet, and we're going to slip stitch into there. So find our first single crochet. You hook into there and do a little slip stitch straight through the loop on your hook. So at the end of that first round, you've got a stitch count of eight. Okay, then what we're going to do, we're going to do a little chain one. Don't count that as a stitch. And going back into the same stitch you just slip stitched into, this one here, we're going to do two single crochet. So one and another one in the same stitch, two. Okay. Then we're going to do two single crochet in each stitch around. So we'll do two single crochet in the next stitch. One and two. We're going to do two single crochet in each stitch around. So two, 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 back to the beginning. Two, you've got a stitch count of 16. Okay, 16. So two single crochet in each stitch around. So one and two in the next stitch. Two in the next stitch. So on and so forth. Two, 
to the next stitch two in the next stitch two in the next stitch and two in the last stitch so check you've got a stitch count of 16 one and two Check you've got a stitch count of 16 and then we're going to slip stitch into our first single crochet. So don't confuse that bit there as a stitch, that's what I call a fake stitch. So find your first single crochet, ignore your little chain one, it's probably disappeared. First single crochet, put your hook into there, and we're going to slip stitch into there. Hook into there, bring the yarn through there, straight fully put our hook to join the round. So by the end of that round should have a stitch count of 16. Okay so if the next round do a little chain one again don't count that as a stitch. This time the pattern we're doing one single crochet in the same stitch we just slipped stitched into so go back into there and do one single crochet. Then in the next stitch we're doing two single crochet. One and another one in the same stitch. I'm just going to trim that tail end down. Drives me mad. Then we're going to repeat that pattern of doing one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, back to the beginning until you've got a stitch count of 24. So that pattern is one single crochet in the next stitch. Just the one. Then two single crochet one and another one in the same stitch two okay let's just repeat one single crochet two single crochet one single crochet two single crochet until you've got a stitch count of 24. okay it's coming up to the last two stitches Finishing the same pattern, one single crochet by itself, then two single crochet in the last stitch. So you should end on two single crochet, one and two. Okay, then we're going to slip stitch into our first single crochet to join the round. So you should have a stitch count of 24. Okay, moving on to round four. Do a little chain one again, don't count that as a stitch. And starting in the same stitch just slip stitched into, we do one single crochet in there, then one single crochet in the next stitch, then two single crochet. I'm going to repeat that pattern all the way around as well. So one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, back to the beginning. You'll end on two single crochet and you should have a stitch count of 32. 32. So that's one single crochet in the next two. So one by itself, next stitch, one single crochet, then two single crochet. Okay. Just coming up to the last three stitches, same pattern, one single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, then two single crochet in the last stitch, one and another on the same stitch, two. Then we just slip stitch into our first single crochet, so ignore that chain which is probably tiny anyway and disappeared slip stitch into there. You should have a stitch count of 32. Now we'll do one more round in red again, do a little chain one. This time starting in the same stitch you just slip stitched into, we do one single crochet, then one single crochet in the next stitch, 
then one single crochet in the next stitch. So you're doing one single crochet in the next three this time, then two single crochet. One and another one the same stitch, two. Okay, so the pattern is one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, then one single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet. So you're doing one single crochet in the next three, then two single crochet. Back to the beginning, you'll end on two single crochet and you should have a stitch count of 40. Okay, 40. So it's one single crochet in the next three this time. then two single crochet. Okay, just go up to the last four. Same pattern again, one single crochet in the next three. One, two, three. Then two single crochet in the last stitch. One and two. Then we slip stitch into our first single crochet to join the round. So you should have a stitch count of 40 by the end of that round. Hopefully it looks a little something like that, just a normal circle. Uh, just like the beginning of many of my hat patterns. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get the white, so bring in your white, which is actually slightly thicker than my red, but it doesn't matter. And we're going to join that in a chain one, so I'm just going to put that over my hook, bring that through the loop, pull the red nice and tight. Then what we're going to do, we're going to do one single crochet in the first four this time. So starting in same stitch, you just slip stitch into into that properly. Do one single crochet in the white, then one single crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, three, and one single crochet in the next stitch, four. So we're doing one single crochet in the next four this time, then we do two single crochet, one and Two. And all your two single crochets, your increases, should line up. They should be on top of each other. So repeat that pattern back to the beginning, doing one single crochet in the next four, then two single crochet. Next four, two single crochet. Back to the beginning, you should end on two single crochet and you should have a stitch count of 48. Okay, or 48. So, one. Okay, so you should end on two single crochets, you should have a stitch count of 48, and then we're just going to slip stitch into our first single crochet to join the round. Okay, so hopefully you got something, looks a little something like this. Then what we're going to do, I'm actually going to cut the, sorry it's a bit blurry, it's going to cut the red, move that out of the way. Then I'm going to take these two tail ends, just tie them together. They'll be hidden on the inside so we don't need to worry about sewing them in or anything. I'm just going to double knot them together. You can always trim those down if you want to. You can use that as stuffing as well. Okay, what we're going to do now, we're just going to pause there. We're just going to bring up a loop and we're going to take some black yarn. So just take a little short length of black yarn. And taking a yarn needle, we're going to sew some little seeds. They're coming from the back, so this is going to be our back. We're just going to go round and do some little seed shapes. So I'm just going to go in to one of the stitches, just hold that there, and then just sewing up by one stitch to the row above. 
so just go up one stitch to about there we got a little seed and we're going to do that all the way around both sides so just place them wherever you fancy doesn't really matter where just be careful not to sew over the yarn that you're working with because you don't want to get that trapped Okay, so I've done that all the way around, just a few little seeds. I'm going to turn that over, and then I'm just going to tie the, the ends together. I'm going to trim down the excess. Okay, so we've got our little seeds, that all will be hidden on the inside, don't worry, because it's going to be folded in half. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create the green out of it. And to do that, we're going to get our green. So let's find the end of our green. Place that over our hook, and we're going to bring that through the loop on our hook. Pull that nice and tight. Now we're working with the green. So what we're going to do now, we're going to do one single crochet in the first 24 stitches. So going back into the same stitch you just slip stitched into, going to do one single crochet, and do one single crochet in the first 24. So that's one, next stitch, two, three, Twenty-three and twenty-four. So I've done one single crochet in the first twenty-four with no increases and it should take you directly opposite. Okay, so we just split our stitch count of 48 in half to 24. Then what we're going to do, we're going to do a little chain one, don't count that as a stitch, turn, we're going to do one single crochet in each stitch across. So keeping, so go into that first stitch there do one single crochet and do one single crochet in each stitch across keeping a stitch count of 24. We're going to do that for about five or six rows. Five or six rows of just chain one, turn, one single crochet in each stitch across. Do that about for about five rows. Okay, so I'll do that and then I'll come back Okay, so when you get to the end, just work into that last stitch. All you do is just chain one, don't count as a stitch, turn, starting in that first stitch, do one single crochet in each stitch across, keeping a stitch count of 24. We're doing that for about five rows. This will be my third one, so about five or six rows. You can actually, if you want to as well, you can change to a lighter green and you'll get the stripes um, that you see on watermelons as well. I don't have a lighter green, so I'm just doing mine in solid green, dark green. But you could create the, those uh, stripey effect you get on watermelons by doing this if you wanted to. So I shall do that and then I shall come back. So we want about, in total, probably about six rows. Okay, so I'm just coming up to the end of the last row. I've done five rows, uh, six in total. You can do as many or as little as you like, really. And what we need to do is then make sure it's folded this way so all our tail ends are hidden on the inside. I'm gonna cut the white yarn. Maybe I've got blunt scissors. Cut the white yarn and then what we're going to do is we are going to single crochet the end together now we don't have proper stitches down at this end so what we're going to do we're just going to go into some gaps that we've got bring the yarn through stop i'm just going to another gap bring the yarn through next gap and one more time maybe maybe even one more time so about five times, just going into the lots of little gaps. I've actually got six loops. 
Then we just yarn over and I'm going to pull through all those loops. And that just brings the end of our green in like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little chain one. Don't count that as a stitch. Chain one. And turn. And we're going to put our hook into the first stitch. Now we're going to skip the very first stitch because that was our single crochet together. So go into the second stitch. Okay. Then we're going to find the first stitch that we left on this side. So that one there has been worked into. So we need to find the next stitch, which is going to be that one there. We're going to bring the yarn through there, through the green, and through the loop on our hook to do a slip stitch. Okay. I'm going to do that all the way across. So we're going to go into the next stitch on the green, then find the next stitch on the white, bring the yarn through both stitches, then straight for the loop on your hook. So we're slip stitching these sides together. So we're going to do that all the way across and we'll stop near the end so we can stuff it. So into the next stitch on the green, next stitch on the white, bring the yarn through both and fill a loop on your hook. And do that until you're almost at the end. Okay, so I'm going to stop about there, bring up a loop and you can see slip stitch together, got a little hole left, I'm just going to put some stuffing in there. So we get some blunt scissors. These are very blunt scissors. I'm going to stuff our little watermelon. Okay, so I'll put in a little bit of stuffing in there and then we're just going to carry on to the end, slip stitching the sides together. Okay, so going into the last stitch on the side, The last stitch on there and you will notice we've got this flat bit at the end so we're going to do the same thing what we did this end we're going to go into some gaps just onto the green as neatly as you can bring the yarn through stop go into another gap bring the yarn through go into another gap bring the yarn through and maybe once more but this time go into the white as well if you can bring the yarn through yarn over pull through all the loops okay and that joins it together then we just cut our yarn bring the loop through stuck in there somewhere. But we'll get our yarn needle and then we'll just hide our tail end. So let's go to neaten that off a little bit more, a little bit of sewing. Maybe stuffing around. Then we can hide the tail end sewing through the green, through the green again, maybe one more time, then just push your project in and then put in that little bit tight, cut as close as you can, and then when it bounces back tail end will be hidden on the inside. So there we go, just move your stuffing around, make sure it's folded in half. And there is your little watermelon slice to go along with your other watermelon slice. <laughs> 
So if you enjoyed that tutorial, I hope you managed to follow along. Like I said in my little pineapple video, I'll put the link to this one in the description below. I've also done tutorials for a lemon and an orange, and that's as an actual lemon and orange cut in half and the slices. So I'll put links to those in the description below and uh, I'll see you soon for some more crochet fun. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. I'm quite tempted to actually design a watermelon purse. Zipped purse. What do you think? Let me know in the, in the comments below. Bye.